You know that there are lilies about long before you see them. On a warm summer's day, their heady, intoxicating fragrance envelops you and your senses will guide you to them. There's nothing more regal than a tall stand of white or cream lilies amongst the blooms of a summer garden. Drawn by the scent, you turn a corner and are confronted with the sight of dozens of tall, grandiose stalks, heavy with pendulous white blooms. Seeing the lilies growing tall never fails to stop me in my tracks. There's something so welcoming about their bell-like forms as the petals open out into wondrous starbursts. The sight and fragrance together are so mesmerising, I always end up just sitting down and revelling in total happiness. Lilies are symbolic of desire for purity and virtue, and throughout history many myths involve the lily. Amongst the many myths, my favourite is that the Romans claim that when Venus rose and came forth from the foam of the sea onto land, she saw a lily, and she became so jealous that the lily's beauty and splendour might overshadow her own, that she gave it a huge pistil as a centre in the snow-white lily and pollen which would stain and ruin it. Whatever stories are associated with them, I find them really beautiful. The contrast of the deep green stalks and leaves against the white flowers always draws me in. When I decided to paint the lilies I encountered at Wisley last summer, I immediately knew that I wanted green to feature strongly in the painting. The symbolism and healing qualities of green always beckon to me if my edges are a bit frazzled or I'm tired and my senses are fizzling. Green is the colour of life, symbolising the renewal of nature and new energy, growth, harmony, freshness and safety. Spiritually, it's the colour of balance and rebirth. Green restores depleted energy and provides sanctuary from the stresses of modern day life, restoring us back to well-being. When I embark on a painting, I seem to be instinctively drawn to the colours and flowers which speak to whatever I need at that time. So the combination of creamy white lilies and deep green tones were exactly what I needed when I was out of balance and had too much going on. It's ironic really that I just get drawn to the colour of the heart chakra, which when in balance gives health, prosperity and abundance and is always the area of my body which feels the most shaky when I'm under stress. So I painted my lilies as a balm of calming and soothing thoughts which started to ease my tension and slowly pull me back to my centre. The healing power of the green tones is the most restful and relaxing for the human eye. Even the scientists have proved that. Although I paint in a whole range of media, I return to my pastels when I really need to get immersed. There's something about working directly with my fingers, moving the colour around, which gives me such a good feeling of contact with the work. Painting tranquility was such a beautiful experience. The healing power of the creative process, the colours and the lilies wrapped me in a blanket of restful and relaxing warmth, soothing away all thoughts and worries, alleviating anxiety, calming any sad thoughts, nervousness or sadness, and replacing them with a sense of hope, health and compassion. Compassion for myself and the gift of letting myself slow down and rest my mind. The overall feeling the paint of the painting imbued me with tranquility and harmony. It's hardly surprising that when I was deciding how I wanted their image to be enjoyed, apart from the actual painting, it's snuggly blankets and big comfy cushions that I chose to snuggle up and relax with. I hope that you enjoy the painting. I always love to hear what feelings any of my paintings give you, so feel free to drop me a line and let me know your experience.